Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having one very, very interesting and very tough problem on radical mathematics. It is x square plus 5x plus 5 equal to 1 over square root x. x belongs to real number. We have left hand side one quadratic equation or quadratic function, right hand side one hyperbolic function where x is positive. So if I will conclude few points from our graph part so we can say something left hand side we have quadratic so this is the graph of quadratic function red color right hand side it is hyperbolic function with 1 over root x so obviously x is positive so this graph is only in first quadrant now third point which i will say here after attaining minima for quadratic function quadratic equation this function is throughout monotonic increasing and RHS, the hyperbolic function, is always monotonic decreasing function. So what will happen? They will intersect at single point only. So only one solution is there. And see how we can conclude that this is our vertex. So that formula is very simple minus b over 2a minus d over 4a. Now you can see b is 5. So this value will be minus 5 over 2. And if you want to check the vertex, see this point is negative. D is B square minus 4 AC. So 25 minus 20. So minus 5 over 4. This is already written over there. So let's find out that individual or single solution algebraically. I will use substitution straight away. So I will use X is equal to A square as we have a square root involved. So let us put this value over there. So it will become x square will be a power 4 plus 5x. So 5a square plus 5 equal to 1 over a. a is non-zero. a cannot be equal to 0. Now I will cross multiply as a is non-zero. So I will be writing a power 5 plus 5a cube plus 5a equal to 1. So this equation is a power 5 plus 5a cube plus 5a minus 1 equal to 0. One quintic equation. So we have to solve this quintic equation and we have solved earlier also this equation using hyperbolic substitution. Let me write here our substitution a. a will be equal to y minus 1 over y. So let us substitute. I will write here y minus 1 over y whole power is 5. Second term was 5 a cube so I will write y minus 1 over y whole cube. Third term was 5a so 5 times y minus 1 over y and negative 1 equal to 0. Let us write the coefficient using Pascal triangle as we are having expansion exponent or power 5. So let me write here 1 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 and required row is 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Let's use and expand this one. And here I will write directly formula. It is not required here. So let me consider the expansion of first term. Y minus 1 over Y whole power 5. So I will be writing straight away Y power 5 for coefficient 1. For coefficient 5, it would be 5y power 4 and in bracket I can write minus 1 over y. Then we'll be writing this is done coefficient 10. 10 will be 10y cube and then I will write minus 1 over y whole square. Now next coefficient is again 10. I will decrease one more time. 10y square this power and then minus 1 over y I will be writing q summation should be 5 next coefficient is 5 
I will write 5 times y minus 1 over y whole power is 4. And last coefficient I will write that is minus or let me write here plus times minus 1 over y whole power is 5. Now remaining this term I will use algebraic formula. So let me write 5 times a cube so y cube minus b cube so minus 1 by y cube minus 3 a square b so minus 3 y square and 1 by y plus 3 a b square so 3 a and 1 over y whole square this part is done and then we are having 5 y minus 5 over y simply multiplying it minus 1 equal to 0. Now if you will simplify See, most of the term will be cancelled out. So, which term will be left? These all term will be over. Only term will be left that would be the completely over. What will be left? That would be y power 5, the very first term, minus 1 over y power 5, and minus 1 equal to 0. This is the advantage of our substitution. Now I will consider y power 5 minus 1 over y power 5 equal to 1. Let us solve this equation. I will take LCM, y cannot be 0. So I can write y power 10 minus 1 equal to y power 5. So I can write y power 10 minus y power 5 minus 1 equal to 0. Or I can consider this is quadratic in y power 5. See, this equation is quadratic equation in y raised to the power 5. So let us apply quadratic formula for y power 5 calculation minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 ac. So plus 4 divided by 2a so i will write 2 so this value is 1 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2 so i can write it is 1 plus root 5 over 2 with plus sign with minus sign it would be 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 now you can see left hand side is having power 5 so let me write y value so y value I can write 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 whole power is 1 over 5. And second value I can write 1 minus root 5 over 2 whole power is 1 over 5 after taking fifth root both sides. So this is our ultimate y value. Now you can see what was a, a was y minus 1 over y. Now there are two values of y. So if I will put one by one, let me show in the next slide. So a value will be equal to y minus one over y. So this value will be equal to for y first value consideration. So I will write one plus root five over two whole power one by five. This is y minus 1 over the same value 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 whole power 5 1 over 5 and second value which was 1 minus root 5 over 2 I will write similarly whole power 1 over 5 minus 1 over 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 whole power is 1 over 5 now one small point is here, it is once you will rationalize this second term, this term and this term, then we will multiply in, in the bracket, here we will multiply with plus, here also 1 plus root 5. In first bracket, I will multiply here 1 minus root 5, complex, the rational conjugate I would say, 1 minus square root 5. Now once you will take 
a plus b a minus b formula so this whole calculation will result into this one the same term we will have so i will write 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power is 1 by 5 and then we are having plus 1 minus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5 similarly if you will check the second one it is same value just you are writing the second value first plus 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 over 5. So what is conclusion? The value of a is only 1. It is repetitive value. So let me write here the value of a. a is 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 over 5. Now our x was a square. So we have to take the square of this a. So better is to find this value in decimals. So we have to use the calculator 1 plus root 5 over 2 power 1 by 5. This value is 1.1010. And second value if you will check this value is negative. Let me write in the bracket 0 0.908. So if I will simplify this one, then this is coming out. This addition is 0 0.193. Now we have to find out the square of this as we are calculating x value. So we will write x is equal to a square. So it will be equal to 0 0.193 whole square. So that single intersection point is 0. 037. This is only real solution possible. I hope friends this willing this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Goodbye.